Barely 8 a.m. over this side of the pond and Blackburn Rovers have made what I believe as the best signing of the transfer window and I'm not talking about a goalkeeper. Let's take a look. That's right folks, back once again with another video, this time taking a look at a bit of transfer news boys and girls, if you can call it that, call it a contract extension. That's right folks, so we'll take a look at it in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button, keep your bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, World Football related, we got it all here under one roof. I called it folks, best bit of business in the transfer window right here right now and it is this fella that's right lewis travis has signed an extension to the club till 2023 now this is no run-of-the-mill contract extension folks this isn't no elliot bennett this isn't no charlie mulgrew this isn't even a bradley dack i think this is going to go down in a bit of this history for rovers as i think this guy is absolute top draw for rovers it is a key part of a, of a starting 11 we'll talk about starting 11 in just a second but uh, he's one of, one of, if not the first name on the team sheet for me. Um, but yeah, good bit of business for Rovers. Obviously, very young, very young player. My computer's going off the off the charts because it's so so excited, just like me. Uh, obviously, a lot of talk right now. It is early, and I expect quite a busy day for Rovers. To be honest with you, apparently a couple of new signings will be uh, revealed possibly later today. So this might not be the first and only video you see of me. But I wanted to get in nice and early and tell you why I'm so thrilled about this bit of business. Now, oh, obviously, it was Travis, 21 years or 21 years of age. In fact, let's let's just rejig my tabs up here because you want to. I'm going to show you what you guys think about it in just a second. But over on whoscored.com, it shows a little bit about Lewis Travis and supposedly where he can play and all that kind of stuff. But I don't, this is this is wrong. This is false. It just goes to show how little who scored know about him. They haven't got a picture of him whatsoever. But he's 21 years of age and the deal does uh, sign him up till 2023. Now, he did have a bit of a breakthrough season last time out for Rovers. Um, obviously, he had a few handful of games uh, out in League One to, you know, it, and I thought those were games were quite were quite useful to him. And he did show his quality back then at an early stage. But for me, the moment that I stood up and was, was uh, uh, and, and really took notice of Lewis Travis it was actually a friendly. I believe it was against Everton. I think I think Travis flew in on a tackle on Seamus Coleman, nearly ripped his leg off or something like that, and someone had a go at him big time. And there's a bit of a confrontation on the on the pitch. Uh, but that was a that was a, a moment for me in a friendly. I thought, you know what, this guy's got a bit of bite to him, uh, and he and he stood up to it. He added added actually beef to his to to his metal right there by playing some games and uh, actually uh, being very shrewd in midfield um so actually played according to whoscored.com around about 19 games last season seven from the bench but let's take a look at what uh what uh, these bad boys uh transfer mark to say he actually, actually played 26 games all in all last season scoring one goal uh creating one assist a couple of yellow cards so far so good no red cards he did have one actually red card in the uh, in league one as well so he he has got a bit of red red mist within him um a current according to uh, transfer mark they usually bang on 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 their uh, transfer valuations but they got him down to 250,000 now for me this contract extension you know four years i think it is 2023 if we're lucky, we'll see that. If not, you know, uh, yeah, he, he may go before then. Because I think it's just a matter of time before. Because a, a player of his ilk is going to be very sought after. Because as you can see, according to Transfermarkt, he does he has played in a variety of positions. This is more up-to-date and more uh, believable. Defensive midfielder is uh, supposedly his preferred spot. He can also play in centre mid. If I can click on that. Um, so it has here the, the amount of games he's played in each one of these positions, including centre back. He has played a few games centre back, left back, central midfield, left side of midfield. But defensive midfield is his uh, sort of, uh, I would say, trade. Right back, he's played there a few times as well. Obviously, he played a few, a couple, couple times last summer. He's very much like Harrison Reed, but we actually own the guy. Now, Southampton quoted us for Harrison Reed £7 million. Pounds. That was the deal. So to be honest with you, I know that there are big fans of, from Rovers out there for Harrison Reed. But to be honest with you, I'd rather have this boy in the starting eleven than Harrison Reed. There's actually not many players in the championship. I would like for his position, I would swap him out. I had a quick look at some of them. You know, there's Calvin Phillips fella at Leeds. He's got a bit of bite to him, a bit more experience and all that. But to be honest with you, prospect wise, I think I think Lewis Travis is going to be a very key part for Rovers. Uh, in the future, whether it is him playing for us for years and years to come, or for sell-on value. Now he's probably obviously two hundred fifty thousand. That's that's wrong. It's completely wrong. I'd say at this stage he's probably around about three, 
four million pound player. Give him another season in the championship. I expect another digit to be on that. Maybe a 10, 15 million pound player. I think this season for him is absolutely massive. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, foothead.com where uh, over the next couple of days, there's actually going to be quite a lot of content on, on, the, on the Rover Seas channel, including I'm going to be doing a video about creating a starting 11 for the new season. Now, I don't know what formation um, we're going to be going with. There are a lot of rumors about not playing Dak down the middle and all this kind of stuff. But ultimately, what for me... The midfield is 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 where it's all at. We've got we've improved quality amongst uh, amongst the midfield bodies, and these are the five players I believe that will get in that midfield one way or another, or, or who are basically battling for two spots. I think two spots are up for grab, and five of these guys are up for it. For me, Travis is number one, no matter, no question. He's got the young, he's got the energy, he's got the vigor, he's got a bit of now, he's got a bit of bite, he's got a bit of everything for him. And I think he obviously he can play in a variety of positions as well. So for me, no questions, uh, Travis will be in that starting eleven. A lot of people say first name on the team sheet. I'm I'm in that I'm in that vein. Obviously, Dak is is an incredible talent, um, and and Raya would have been <laughs> would have been my first name on the team sheet. Uh, for obviously, we don't have many much options in that regard. But uh, for for right here, right now, Travis has stepped up a plate. Uh, in the past 12 months, to be in consideration for first name on the team sheet. Uh, when you think about all the other positions, I think Lenahan's up there. I think Lenahan is a quality defender, but Travis is in that mix. So Travis, Lenahan, and Dak are, you know, one of the first names of the sheet. I, I don't want to narrow it down just yet. But anyway, that's just a little, just a little bit of what I think about the contract extension. What do you guys think? Let's take a look at. Uh, it's been very well received. Bit of news over on Twitter. A lot of people uh, retweeting it, liking it, and all that. And a lot of a fair few guys have commented on. Let's refresh this because I'm sure uh, it's still hot in the uh, eyes of folks. So Lachlan Kearney says, I love it, with a bit of a gif there. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, Adrian Spencer puts in superb picture of that. Um, yeah, some guys doing an epileptic fit uh, down the supermarkets. That's Will Ferrell there. Everyone seems to be over the over the moon. And yes, it is the best signing of the window by a country mile. Judy Graham reckons it's the best. Uh, has made her day, this bit of news. Um... What else? Adam Earnshaw, cheers, sons, buzzing, nice one. So a lot of well-received uh, people out on Twitter for this. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's a bit funny. But ultimately, I think I, th I don't think it's going to get much better on this Monday. And there are a lot of rumours for goalkeepers. And I did uh, break a bit of news, uh, or rumours, should I say, earlier that Simon Eastwood could be on his way back to Rovers as well. Uh, Ex-goalkeeper, as we scroll down here. Grant Mitchell. I don't know if it's the real Grant Mitchell from Albert Square. But you know what I mean? Absolute better than any new signing you could make this summer. It is. It is it's top draw. It is top draw. I think of, of, of all the players on the books uh, for the future... You know, we've got a very young squad. We've definitely got a young squad and we're adding some quality to the mix. But keeping hold of this guy for me and Lenehan. Uh, Lenehan is also solid as well. And, and I think those two guys have got huge futures. If we can keep them happy, keep them sweet, I think we've got the backbone of a really good team. All we need now is a flipping goalkeeper and then we'll be in tremendous... Trem I think we'll be in tremendous... Sh well, tell a lie. Tell a lie. We'll be in pretty good shape. With the goalkeeper, we'll be in pretty good shape. I still, still think we need a centre-back. And I don't like all this talk of loans. I don't like the talk of loans. I think uh, we sold a keeper for three million. We should surely be bringing in a keeper on a permanent basis of, of a decent quality. But that's, that's for another video. Um, but today, it surely, surely it cannot get better than this. Lewis Travis, obviously a couple of transfers expected to be uh, announced. I will be talking about those when and when they take place. But that, my friends, is it. Bit of news for you. Lewis Travis committed to the Blackburn Rovers until 2023. Um, so get yourselves, get his name on the back of your shirt, on your, on your new grey shirt that's coming out. Um, so it's ex exciting times for Rovers fans. Anyway, I'm going to let you get out of here. Uh, very short and sweet. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up. Smash the subscribe. New videos pretty much every single day right here on the channel. Until then, thumbs up. Subscribe. Jump in. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>